welcome back to Desynced with me, Jenny, in our last episode. Well, we got some very simple automation up and running for the miners. We also started um, optimizing a little bit by using the yeeters to start moving things between buildings. And we also got some uh, bigger, slower combat robots. But today, today I want to do a couple of things. I actually want to do a lot of things, uh, but we're going to start with a couple of things. First off, I want to take what we learned in the last episode with the Yeeters and I want to upgrade it. Second thing I want to do is I want to apply a lot more programming to a lot more robots. The third thing I want to do is I want to ask you guys whether I can borrow like. I just like to borrow like. I like to borrow like early in the video. If you're not happy with the video, you didn't enjoy the video, well, you can click subscribe instead. And with a recap out of the way, I want to do a couple of things. I want to do a couple of things. So the first thing I want to do is I want to start optimizing. I want to start optimizing and I also want to apologize that a video didn't go out yesterday. And the reason that didn't happen is, well, uh, I sort of just streamed desync for about 12 hours. About 12 hours. I streamed desync over on Twitch for about 12 hours because I was uh, busy trying to optimize things. Optimize things and work out some of the problems with my code because my decon bot code that we featured last episode uh, broke. Broke. Uh, it didn't break because I broke it. It broke because the devs changed how some of the code worked and their patch notes were not explicit enough. And therefore, I didn't understand why it had broken. It turns out they added a brand new signal, a uh, loop signal, which now means um, he works universally, like across the whole map, which is really handy. So um, very, very handy to have him wandering around the whole map, uh, which means if I mark you with a red signal, it also means he instantly comes across and does this job rather than me having to wait, which is good. It also means the trash bot's going to come across the cleanup. All right, so the first thing I want to do is, in our last episode, we started using yeeters to, like, optimize this little flow a little bit. Now, as you can see, I have a lot of bots doing nothing, which is both good and bad. Uh, good that they, everything's idle, bad at which we could be doing things. So what I want to do is I want to set up a, a new yeeter. A new yeeter, and I want to use what we've learned in the last episode to optimize one step further. So what I have here is I have a storage. I have a storage with a yeeter in it, ready to go. Also, a behavior controller. The reason I have a behavior controller is I want to get... Uh, uh, automated requests into this building. Now, I want to request in... Well, it's not running, so I want to request in uh, Metal Ore. And I want to request in an infinite amount of Metal Ore. Helps if I actually click the right button. Cool. So when I hit the Go button, it's going to request all the infinite uh, Metal Ore it can. Which means I want to slock all these slots to a single item. Cool. After it's done that, I want it to yeet all that Metal Ore into the central building. The reason I want to do it into here is this also has a yeeter. But because it's a two by two, it has a few extra slots, a few extra spaces it can cover, which is good because I want it to feed this building here. Now, the way I do that is currently this is requesting things, but I've moved it across to channel four. I've also said only item transporters. That is entirely up to you. You can either choose to do that option or not. Later on, we do get uh, flying drones, which don't have a tick box here. They don't count as an item transporter. So I've just been moving everything over to Channel 4 anyway, and turning this on or off doesn't really matter. As they're the only thing on Channel 4, it works out great. This guy, I want him to, um, well, feed the iron ore into here. Now, so he doesn't get filled up with nothing but iron ore, I have locked four of his slots to iron ore, and then he's going to be out, or he's going to be receiving back metal plate. So I have four slots marked as metal plate, because what I want to do is I want to store all the metal plate that's made in this guy back into here. Which, of course, is all well and good, except if you're surrounded by buildings, well, I can't get the metal ore out. So what I want to do is I want to further yeet my metal ore uh, out to here. Which, again, I need to lock all these slots to metal bars so it doesn't end up filling up with ore. And with a simple concept like that done, I should be able to just hit OK. And, well, I should have a whole bunch of ore, hopefully, instantly delivered, because we have a whole, bunch of de a whole bunch of miners doing a whole lot of nothing, instantly delivered here. And this one smelter should kick into action. He's getting all... Uh, you're not on channel number four. There you go. Channel number four. He's going to yeet into there. You'll make metal, uh, iron bars, iron bars, metal bars, metal bars, which you'll yeet into there and then yeet back into there. This yeet is doing a lot of yeeting. This is helping out supplementary, just, just trying to get stuff in there in the first place. He'll also... He's only on channel one, so he won't help the two beside him. But uh, the point is... If I press C on that and then press V anywhere and hold down shift, I can um, radically upgrade the build. So that's going to be the first thing I'm going to do. Uh, second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come to here and I'm going to change a signal on this to say red. And then I'm going to copy and paste the hell out of that. And our decon bot is going to remove everything and make an absolute mess. Don't get me wrong. He's going to make an absolute mess, but that, I'm okay with making an absolute mess for right now because well, I want the stuff off the ground. 
yeah, uh, he's also going to get stuff in his inventory, which I don't know. There's no good way for me to dump that. Yeah, you can have that item. You can have that item. Yeah. I sort of need to lock your slots to nothingness. Uh, or actually, you know what? You. Uh, what is it you as a transport route? You are going to... Uh, so, a transport route picks up from go to and stores to and stores to and delivers to store. So you're going to store here and you're going to pick up from there. And your only job is to keep his two slots empty. Yep. Uh, Crystal Miner, you're in the wrong spot. You can go away. Because uh, you're the next thing I want to replace. All right. So I want to do this for ingots. I want to set you to be ingots uh, so we can see a symbol. Point, you see you ingots so we can see a symbol and we can see we already have 125 there 125 is good but uh more is better we're going to set you to metal ore all of it i'm going to turn you on you're already ready to go you're on register number four you're on not register number four uh you are already going to yeet out there so we're going to copy and paste that and get that one running and then you are going to request in the metal bars uh, all of them you are on channel four you're on channel four uh, also these guys have a couple of slots in them and more often than not i've put in power poles just so i don't have to put in power poles as part of my builds it just goes straight into well these buildings and just takes care of that little hassle uh and you we're gonna hit okay and then this one i'm gonna copy and paste cool uh we're gonna get those guys to start it all right next thing i want to do if the crystal miners won't won't mine they get removed. And this guy will pick up whatever the decon. The mine is a little bit faster than the decon bot is. That's just rude. That's just rude. Ha, huh, you turned around. Uh, so, yes, this little transport bottle just takes stuff back and forth. Uh, can I give you a, a symbol? You're going to have that symbol. Just so you got an icon. I, I find it's better having icons on these guys so you can keep track of them. Uh, when you give them custom orders you can also go away all right next thing i want to do uh oh is set all of these to buy as well yeah we're just going to do a little bit of a cleanup yeah things were mean to be delivered here they got aborted uh on the fact that well they got removed okay uh next thing i want to do is i want to build a robot i want to build a special robot i want to build a minor team leader uh, no, I want to go into behaviors. Uh, library. Blueprints. Uh, mining bots. Mining team leader. Uh, edit that. And I want you to be like so. Yeah. So, I want to make a mining team leader. Uh, can I get three of them? And we're going to have a rally point of here so I know where they are. All right, so uh, our mining team leaders, they're a very, very special bot. I need to talk through their code, which we can access via the library. If I right click on here, I can see their code. So they have a very, very simple code, very simple code, okay? They're running the auth line at 1.5, because yes, there's been a couple of revisions, and their job is to search for the P1 filter, being the target all. Uh, if it's mineable, they're gonna output that result to P2 which we're going to set the number from P2 to 6. So we've actually rewritten whatever number comes out of here to a flat value of 6. And we're going to write that back to P2. We're then going to move to P2. Uh, and then we're going to loop this code around. That's it. It's not super complicated. We're just going to loop this forever. Okay. If it can't find the ore it's looking for, it's going to set out a notify of the target ore being P1 and it's going to notify us it can't find all. That's its simple plan. Uh, can I move you, please? You come here. Come here, actually. Uh, I'm going to call you Iron Team. Actually, no, Crystal. Crystal, uh, Team Leader. Cool. This is going to be our Crystal Team Leader, uh, wherever you are. And stop the code. Uh, I do one thing I, I, I haven't changed yet, uh, which might change if you choose to go grab my blueprints. I'm, I am sharing all of these on Discord if you're interested. Uh, we're going to set that to crystal chunks and we're going to hit go on your code. So you're going to search anywhere within the radar range for crystal. 
if you can't find any, you're going to set up a notification. And you will keep sending that notification. If I right click on it, it will keep coming back until you deal with it. So my crystal's over here. So I'm going to send you a little bit closer. And that's not going to restart his code. It's going to keep running forever until I clear it. Uh, you can I have mining team leader, mining slaves. Can I have 18 of them, please? It's a lot of slaves. I'm, I'm a big fan of slaves. Slaves are great. Uh, okay, so now your code has been cleared. Uh, we're going to hit stop. Well, you've moved. Uh, we're going to hit stop. We're going to hit OK. So he's going to shift right mouse button. Mm, I missed it. He's going to go to this bit of crystal. He's going to stare at this bit of crystal forever. Just waiting for this bit of crystal to, to go away. Meanwhile, anomaly detected. Uh, can I get you guys? You're on number one. Are you going to be mean to me? Yes. Okay. Uh, can you make that go away? And make that go away? And make that go away? And make that go away? Much better. Um, we have a healing bot somewhere. We do have a repairing bot. Cool. He will come fix up our little bots. Uh, I didn't pick up the loot. Probably should have gone back for loot. Pick up the loot. Come back. Okay. Uh, so, if I now clear that, that's gone. Okay. So, he's going to stare at that forever. He needs some slaves. Uh, where are our slaves? Here are our slaves. Okay. Our slaves. Our slaves are very, very easy to set up. Uh, we have this little thing. It reads a signal from another robot. Uh, this is outputting crystal chunk being the target ore to here. So, we're going to go to our slave. And we're going to say, hey, I want you to read a signal from this robot. Once it reads the signal from that robot, it gets a couple of inf instructions. It gets mine crystal, mine crystal chunk, which gets outputted to here and here. So these lasers are now looking for crystals. If they come across crystals, they'll start mining crystals. Also, it gets an output to the go to register. Uh, go to register, go to register. Go gets an output to the store register and a go to register. So he's going to come over here and he's going to mine crystal. He's going to keep mining crystal forever. Uh, and he's going to, once he's full, store all his crystals in the boss, the boss, the boss, the boss that is connected to the network and will supply things to the network. So uh, if I go back to this guy, minor slave, and I copy, uh, we have one, two, three, four, five. I just need one more to pop out and the team is done. Uh, and you're waiting on lasers. I can get you lasers. Uh, can I go to you and you, disconnect from network, move over here. Do I see anybody else with crystal above their head? You, also crystal above your head. Uh, red symbol. Uh, red symbol. These are the old worker bots. I don't want these guys hanging around. They're far too slow. Uh, and they're very, very good at hanging around, at, at carrying lasers. That's about it. Uh, so those should get dumped to storage. And as we can see, they're already marked for pickup from storage. That one is two. They're basically all going to get dumped straight in here to make more, more miners as quickly as possible. All right, so that's the first thing I want to do. Second thing I want to do is I'm very, very happy with these, but I'd like another robot. Uh, can I get a dasher cap, please? Undo. All right, this dasher cap. This dasher cap, I want you to have a very important job. Uh, did I say smelter? I did say smelter. Cool. Uh, you're going to have a smelter. You are going to get a visual signal. It's going to be foundations. Uh, can I get a behavior? And a cap. Transfer behavior. I don't really want you to find a transfer for behavior. I'd like to load a new bit of code on you. I'd like to load this one. So, again, a little bit of code, a little bit of code, a little bit of code, nothing too complicated. Uh, this guy's going to place foundations for me. Because currently, if I bring up Power Grid and I go build foundations and I drag this out here. We're going to have 500 bots come out here, stop what they're doing. They're going to go to here. They're going to grab all the foundations they could possibly carry. 
and then take them off and build them over there. Can I copy? Yeah, we need one more. Who's now built? Okay, they're going to come out of here, and as we said, we have a mass, mass movement of robots, and they're all carrying one foundation each, which is not very effective. Not very effective at all. So I'd like to set up a new bot, a new bot. Uh, he needs to have how many foundations? So how many foundations can this guy carry? Uh, we're gonna set you to foundations. Foundations stack in 40. So he can carry 40 foundations, very important. Uh, next thing he ne needs to know is where are iron bars? Well, luckily now, we now keep iron bars uh, right here. He can go there to get iron bars, cool. Uh, next is how many iron bars can he carry? And that is, the answer is 20. So we need to say 20 iron bars, done. Okay, so that's him up and running, okay. Now, his code is, he gets himself, okay? So he knows exactly who he's looking at. He's going to write that variable into A. He's then accounts the number of items, being foundations, 40 off, and write that as B from, again, himself. So we want to make sure he counts it from himself, not from around his area, not from where he can see, but from his actual self. Then he's going to ask, is B higher than one? Okay. Uh, if it's smaller, I want you to get my location. I want you to get my coordinates. I want you to pick up uh, items from iron bars, uh, the item amount being iron bars, 20, and I want you to move back to C. So we're going to make sure we know where we are. And when we're done, we're going to move back there. I also need this, if larger goes there, and remove that. Okay, and that's gonna be his job. Now, if the number is larger, only if it's larger, uh, he'll go down and place foundations, okay? His job is to uh, deliver. Okay, his job is channel number three. That's probably the easiest. And supply items or it's deliver. I'm not sure. It falls into one of them. Uh, but if I hit OK, he should come over here and pick up 20 iron bars. Cool. Uh, we need to link the output from that one to there. That's one other thing I had to do. So he will now uh, pick up foundations. He will then smelt foundations. Uh, oops, I set that back. Cool. He will now smelt foundations. He's not supplying. Uh, deliver items. Deliver items. It's deliver, not supply. So he will now deliver items to wherever we're putting down foundations. Which also means uh, I'm going to make you go away. Cool. I'm also going to make that, that, that go away at the same time. Because I don't need any of those. Also means there's a bunch of foundations on the floor, which will end up in storage, which we will end up automatically placing down. But, uh, crap, I lost him. You, you, uh, you are now gonna auto make foundations. That's very, very important. You're gonna auto make foundations and you're gonna auto place them down. The other important thing, and this is why it has this if larger value, because it keeps passing through this place, place construction foundation, doesn't actually build a foundation. It just places down the blueprint for a foundation. So as he wanders around the network, He's going to keep placing down the thought, the plan, the intent to put down future foundations. And he will just systematically, rather than carrying ones and twos, he's going to make his own foundations in his inventory and just keep placing foundations everywhere, which suits me perfectly. Uh, also means that, uh, where's our power network to? Can I extend the power network to here? And foundations, fill in that area, fill in that area. Fill in a bit of area there, 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 all through there, into there. Cool. As soon as he's done and he's placed down all the foundations, he's done. He's done. He will, well, keep spreading foundations. Uh, you're out of things to pick up. Can I set you to uh, that one? Cool. Let's send you over there. He's just going to keep placing down foundations forever. Uh, and he's going to be our one dedicated foundation bot. As soon as we have removed all the foundations that we generally have in storage, uh, he is the only place foundations come from, and he is the dedicated foundation guy. All right. Uh, next up, I want you to be a sand miner. Uh, 
Yep, and we're gonna lock all your slots to a sand item. There is a way to lock these slots in the code. Uh, I set that around the wrong way. Yeah, I did. Uh, sand. Output. Cool. Uh, I set that around the wrong way, definitely. All right, can you move here, please? Stop. Uh, can I have you, oop, I did it again. You linked there. Like I said, we've been through a few revisions. All right, you guys are going to be uh, sand miners. We're going to set that, send the sand miners up here, and I'm going to bring you guys down here. And then when you get here, I'm going to deconstruct all of you because uh, I want you gone as well. And then after we spit out a few more of these, then we'll go and move on to iron miners. All right. Uh, yeah, we know what about notify. All right, so that's that problem done. Uh, next thing I want to do is I want to basically do the same expansion I've done for both the bars and the plates for both the wire and also the silicon. Uh, so we're going to copy that to there. We're going to copy that to there. I'm going to copy an output to there. I'm going to copy a silicon to there. You came with a power pole. You did come with a power pole. Cool. And you guys have all arrived. One, two, three, four, five. Change that signal to that signal. Click OK. And the decon bot will make sure you all go away. All right. And you've made it. Oh, no, I missed one. Oh, no, you already set up. Okay, turn you on. And you should find silica sand. Go stand near the silica sand. And your miner should start mining. And that's another one added to the team. We don't have quite enough yet, but we're getting there. Uh, also, you. Stop. You. One thing we can do is we can set up automated delivery. So we're going to set up a transport route for this one. Because uh, sand is a long way away. Uh, we're going to send you to... Go to him. Store here. Uh, lock your slots to sand. And we're going to give you a visual of path blocked. Just because it's a good symbol for us to sort of see. Oh, okay. You have a dedicated job. Um, any bot I give a dedicated job, I tend to give them some sort of indication so I don't lose them. Uh, you are not placing. Do you need supply as well? No. Place foundation. Why are you suddenly confused? Oh, because you're outside the power grid and your battery went flat. Oh, it's not idiot proof. Not idiot proof, but you know, it's, it's something. All right, uh, sand miners, one, two, three, four. So I have four, uh, can I get Mr. Five and six set up? Okay. And then you, we're gonna do you for iron. You are basically ready to go. In fact, you're already running the code. Uh, I assume, let's just confirm, uh, you, we're going to link to you, uh, one, two, and then that means one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, come here, disconnect from the network. Oh, I think we fixed our laser shortage. Uh, that's an IO miner, that's an IO miner. Well, just because you're not linked to the network doesn't mean you stop mining, I guess. Uh, change symbol to that. Cool. Uh, they'll all go away too. And our poor trash bot is going to be very busy. Uh, I am miners as well. Set them to red, go, and one over here. There's still two of them left. How dare you hide in the construction? All right, uh, so I should clear out that problem. Uh, we're gonna copy you, paste you, paste you. I should be waiting on one more. I am, which is short on minus. Which, drag. Uh, really? Oh, they're being requested right now. Okay, see, so clean up, clean up. Many less miners running around. All right, so uh, you're running, sort of. Uh, I need to... Stop that request. Uh, 
because you have one of these, uh, cancel orders. Oh, I fight, fine, cancel. Okay, uh, unfix all items. Uh, fix all items, to, fix all items to specific item. It's gonna be sand, please. Uh, set you to network number four. Set you to those. Except, what's the recipe? It's one to one, right? It's three to one. Okay, so we're gonna set all items to sand. And then I'm gonna unfix you, unfix you, fix you to that one, drag and drop. Uh, I need you to go to there instead. You are gonna be a single item being this item. And you are gonna request sand unlimited instead. And you are gonna store into there. We will then store into there, which is gonna be set to this item. Okay, then it should be a copy and paste. And we need to turn you on and have you store there. Also means that uh, you guys are now done. Okay, clear. Uh, you go. Okay, and you are picking up items and dropping them in this tower, which is full. Uh, that's fine, I don't mind. Uh, can you be aimed to a new tower? You're a dedicated pi pi trash pickup that just does short, small areas. Uh, foundation bot, foundation bot, foundation bot is steel fo foundation. I love it when code works. All right, uh, so you are all built. You've built all our bots that we need. Probably need another iron team. Uh, in fact, going by the fact that there's not a lot of iron ore, but it does say we have a lot of other things. We're probably okay. Uh, we're sort of short on silicon. It's all dumped on the floor, but you know, I'm sure we'll get to it. Uh, where was the bot that I assigned it there? Gone already. Out. Oh, all the way outside the network, picking up stuff. Oh, and friends. Thanks. Uh, can I assign you to there really quickly to see you pick up this stuff? All right. Uh, next thing I want to do. Well, if we're going to find friends, I want to grab uh, combat cubs. Can I grab like 10 of these? I think 10 is a pretty good number to start us off. All right, can I also... So we have one of these now for silicon. Uh, I also have wire. I'd like to do the same with wire. So we're going to leave a three tile gap. This three tile seems to be about the right amount uh, to make sure bots don't get too confused. Copy that, paste that there. Uh, copy that, paste that there. And then once these are built, we can change and cancel their recipes, etc. Uh, can I throw foundation there and yeah i sort of need these done before we can go on to the next steps uh you i do want to set a symbol of sand infinite so i can see how much is in there you or infinite same story you ingots infinite and you or okay so now we can see how much is in there like there's no sand in here and you are meant to be putting sand in here. So we have a local spot where we keep sand. Uh, can I stop that request? All right, so you are gonna be doing two items and it's a one to one ratio. Uh, we're gonna change that to that. We're going to control drag that from there to there. We're gonna change this network to num network number four. Uh, you are on network four, you didn't boot that up. Uh, we're gonna cancel your go to. We're gonna change you to this item. Wrong item, uh, that item. We're gonna change you to that item. We're gonna change your requests, which we're gonna modify with a, a hold that control, it'll duplicate things. And we're gonna say item two, uh, item two, yep. And it's a one to one and they both store in 20 a piece. So, Unfix all. So we want to fix item to s sand and plate. Uh, cancel orders, because I don't think they'll ever get delivered. Uh, actually, technically they would from one of these fabricators. Okay, we're going to have to turn you on to I only item transporters. No, because there's no robots on that network. Uh... Cancel orders. I have no idea how you're requesting that. 
but no one's ever going to deliver it to you. All right, uh, can I set you to plates? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Uh, fixed to an item plate. Plate. Uh, plate. Wire and wire. And we hit OK on you. We can confirm you're on network four. Confirm you're on network four. Confirm you have a store location. Confirm you have a store location. And then, same as we did before, copy and paste. Still not happy that that's trying to get resources in. It's not. Oh, it's reserved. Okay, so the resources are already there. Never mind. Okay. Uh, so you're good to go and we should be good. Power is not great. Not great. Uh, batteries and solars. Uh, well, we're running on battery power right now. We might be okay. All right. Uh, does mean I want to go to you guys and I want to say this one. Copy. Paste, 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 paste. All right, next thing I want to do is I want to take a scout. Uh, I want to dump your resource in there and I want to set up a requester, uh, no, a raider. Uh, raider. Yep, and a capacitor and a behavior controller. Because one more, one more bit of code I'd like to get up and running uh, in today's episode. Uh, we have a couple of combat cubs, which we're going to park here, because we're going to have to go north. And I still have another five trying to be crafted that I'm short on capacitors. All right, we're going to put that in there, but that in there, I need a capacitor, which is probably going to be problematic. Uh, you just need to be crafted, which needs crystal. And we should have plenty of crystal. We have plenty of crystal. Yeah, bots are picking up crystal as fast as they can. Great. Right. And that's been scrapped. And this trash pickup has dumped everything it can to that tower. And we just reassigned you to a different tower. Every one of these towers are part of the logistics network. So, but they have four storage slots or, th or two storage slots, depending on what you've built. I just dump things into them quite randomly, quite commonly. And uh, something needs wire. It's already been picked up. Uh, it'll be another combat cup. Combat cup is what needs the wire. Uh, you have the capacitor. Okay. Uh, you, I want to load up another code, another bit of code, another bit of important code uh, before we end out the video, and that is going to be this code. Uh, is that the right code? Yes. So, uh, this is an explorer. It's an explorer, and I've intentionally put on a scout. The scouts are a little bit faster. They're a little bit faster. Uh, they have not really more power than anything else. Um, that's one of the reasons we added the capacitor, uh, but they're efficient. Efficient. So they use 10 power, whereas a da, da, dasher, uh, you use 15 power and only have two inventory slots. This guy has four inventory slots. Also has a movement speed of four compared to our dash's movement speed of three. So a little bit faster, you get out of trouble a little bit faster. That's the important thing. All right. This guy has actually a couple of things. Let's talk with the outside. Uh, we want to have Dropbox. So I need to set a Dropbox. Dropbox is where we go to store things. That's one important thing I need to set manually. Also need to get rid of those. You and you can go over and join this network or up here with these guys. Uh, can I also give you a symbol? And that's gonna be this one. And control group number nine, so I don't lose you. All right, so you, your job is to be an explorer. Cool. Uh, so you are gonna have some code running. So this code is going to search with your radar for an enemy. If you find an enemy, you're going to notify me of an enemy with a ping on the map. Uh, you're going to then find out where the hell home is. And then you're going to move to home for 60 ticks, which is about 20 seconds. About 20 seconds after you've moved towards home for 20 seconds, you'll then loop the code around again and make sure we're searching for an enemy. At the same time, uh, you if you don't find an enemy, you're going to search for uh, a, a unsolved explorable. Yes. Uh, and then write that as result P1. 
Now, if you don't find a th one of those, you can search for a bug explorable, which is one of these guys, which if we just take you up here manually, uh, you up here as well. These need an Intel scanner. I don't have an Intel scanner. It needs uh, green things and silica and, and, and energon cubes. I don't know what green things are, but I don't have them. So I'm not gonna be running that anytime soon. Uh, we also have explorables of the human variety. We can't access those. So if you don't find, well, if you don't find an explorable robot, an explorable of bug, an explorable of human, you run this bit of code, which resets this number, resets this number, uh, resets your go-to location, basically resets every variable up here, and then goes for a scout, which is go for a little wander. Now, these two bits of code are set up. So in the future, if you want to run this code, again, all the code is available on my Discord server, uh, you can drag this into here or drag this into here, at which point you can start running these two bits of code. Just search these different explorables. As you get more technology and more ability to scan those things, you might not have them right now, but in the future, you probably will. Uh, trash pickup needs a new tower, which is going to be that tower. Yeah, that's got four slots. It'll take you a minute to fill up. All right. Uh, okay. So that's the scout. This is, uh, we're going to find, find an explorable we can open. We're going to move to that explorable, which we're going to write into uh, parameter number one. That way I can read it from the outside of the map. I don't have to come into the behavior code to check on it. Uh, we're then going to copy that value to the target go to. Go to works at all times. These can sometimes have problems. So we're just reverting to the go to command. Uh, we're going to pick up items from the source, i.e. the active target. So we're going to, once we get there, try and pick up stuff. Uh, just in case there's stuff, just in case there's freebies, you never know. Then we're going to try and solve the target, uh, solve the explorable. If we're missing an item, we're going to take that item and write it to P2. What item am I missing? We're then going to set the number of P4, Dropbox, to a value of 1. At the moment, my Dropbox is a value of 0. I'm just ensuring that it's a value of 1. We're going to write that value to C, and then we're going to move to uh, move to C, i.e. move one tile away from storage, and then we're going to drop off any items we have, okay, if we've solved the explorable. If items are missing, therefore we failed, uh, we're going to request those items in P2, okay? So we're going to write the item to P2, then we're going to request it back out. We're going to get the closest energy, uh, the closest entity that has in the power grid. So we're going to search for the closest thing to us that's inside the power grid. Now, as you expand out, as you have multiple grids, as you have uh, self-contained power grids with uh, different robots and things, you might have to update this to home, okay? You can just say go home or go to Dropbox or something like that. But at the moment, we can go to just inside the network. That's all I need to do. Then we're going to output that to variable A and we're going to drive to variable A, okay? We're then going to uh, request, we've already requested it. So we're going to uh, count what item I'm missing and we're going to write that to uh, number three, uh, which is, do I have what I need? So it's, uh, do I have that single item I'm looking for? Uh, I.e. what's in our inventory? If we compare value two to value three, i.e. what am I missing is uh, smaller or equal to uh, the P1, P1. Yes, yeah, smaller, i.e. we don't have enough or it's equal to, we still don't have enough. Uh, actually, equal to might need to loop. Smaller, larger, larger, smaller, whatever. We'll work it out in a second. If it is this, uh, we're going to move back to the target. If not, uh, if it's larger, we're comparing uh, T, P2, which is what I'm missing, what I'm going to need. So that's a one, that's a zero. So if one is equal to, if one equals one, we're going to move two. If one is, we're never going to have a larger. It's going to be smaller. Disconnect. Yeah. If it's smaller, uh, actually, technically, if it's larger as well, we can go up. So if it's smaller, we're going to wait uh, 60 ticks just to wait for more items to come in. Uh, and then we're going to move to the target, which is looping back to solve explorable. That's the code. That's the code. That all makes sense, right? Uh, you are already control group number nine. You're going to search with the radar. 
You're going to copy everything to clear all of the things, and then you're going to start scouting randomly. And hopefully, you find explorable you can go visit. So we're searching the other two, three types. We found nothing. We're going to go for a bit of a scout. And it's very random. Sometimes the scouts are a long distance. Sometimes the scouts are a short distance. If I turn on this, we can see where he's being told to move to here. But more importantly, he should stay away from friends. That's what I really care about. He shouldn't go anywhere near friends. He shouldn't go into any explorables we've already visited. Uh, as you can see, I've had a little explorer bot come over here and find, well, stuff on the ground, which is fine. And you are scanning in that range. That's the explorable right there. Bit further left. Bit further left. A little bit further left again. All right. Meanwhile, uh, you have done all the combat bots. Can I run them up there? They're going to be a next episode thing for sure. And in the meantime, can I get a minor team leader? Because we're going to need a second one. Left three tiles. That's not left. All right. I'm going to manually drive you left three tiles. Okay, so we found something. Cool. I don't have to manually drive him left three tiles at all. All right, he's going to move to here. He's going to say, do I have this stuff? And the answer is no. Mm. Is P2 larger than P3? What am I missing? What do I need? Is this larger than that? No. Is this equal to that? Is this smaller than that? Request item, get close to any move entity, and then count items. This part fails. I love it when code fails. Uh, set next instruction. Step. Well, he just chose not to move. Okay. Uh, move units to no. Uh. Okay, uh, no, we're going to do a copy. Copy. Uh, copy value A to go to... Re Oop. Go to register. Move to go to register. Slide that along. Uh, get close to any with power. Hey, he's now wandering towards the power grid. Okay, unfortunately he's not requesting anything, so can we just start you from scratch? So then you work out what you're missing. So you're going to go to there, you're going to confirm you're missing something, cool. Uh, you are then going to move back to the power grid, because we said a go-to register and we told you to go to... You're going to storage, but I guess that works for us. Uh, he's trying to drop off items. Doesn't have any items, but okay. And then you start scanning it. Uh, what? Request the item right to P2. Move target. That doesn't make any sense. This shouldn't fail. I don't even look what we needed. Go there. Go there, you silly. Missing item. Missing two items. So it's missing the circuit, but then it cleared the circuit. Uh, missing item, request item, get close entity. All right, so we can just tell you to move units to Dropbox instead. Like you don't have to, the idea of we search for the closest item on the power grid, uh, because that just means, uh, P2 has been cleared. If we search for the closest item on the power grid, it means it can just drive to here rather than having to drive all the way into the middle of the base. But if I have to, if I have to, to make him work, drive him all the way into the middle of the base, so be it. Uh, is that the problem is the move registers don't work 100%. They've had some issues. Uh, radar, radar, scan, find. Moving it there. 
uh, request item being that. Okay. And then you're running this. So again, move unit failed. To target P4. Uh, but this move unit's working fine. All right, sorry, I will bug fix between episodes, uh, but this is where we're gonna have to leave it. We have a combat team. I also have a new iron miner uh, who is gonna need a couple of mining slaves. Uh, to do uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, and the mining slaves are probably the easiest bit of coder ever. All they do is have a, 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 a signal read up, which just reads the signal off him. That is the easiest bit of code ever. Uh, but uh, yes, I'm gonna have to leave this episode here and go bug solve a explorer bot that was working perfectly, was working 100% perfectly before this video started. Uh, so, as always, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you in the ne next episode. And yes, if you're interested in any of the code, preferably of the working type, you'll find it uh, on my Discord server. Um, so yeah, I'll see you over there. Also, maybe you can share some code that works with me because there are definitely times when I'm smashing my head against the wall, trying to work out how to get something to work. And I just, I can't, I can't. It just won't work for me. Anyway, I'm gonna leave this video here. As always, thank you for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you in the very next video. All right, bye.